queen. What is a queen? First, it's important to understand that English is considered the bastard language of all languages. Although we know queen to mean royalty, it actually has two definitions. Queen actually derives from the word queen, which is Middle English, Q-U-E-A-N, and means a woman considered without regard to qualities or position, also can mean prostitute. And in this video, I will show you how the latter definition applies. This is for education purposes. It's Queen Regina. I'm a numbers lady. It goes to the queen. From the queen. Queen Regina. But I said, bow down to the queen. I've seen a whole lot and said very few. That's just who I am. That's what I made of. But the older I get, the more I will speak. Because there's some young women out here today that need my voice. I, I can't do drama. I want the drama. But there are some young women out here that want to evolve. Not to help you. You know, don't argue with nobody. Don't argue with nobody. It's not worth it. Stay focused on your journey, on your travel. Don't be distracted. It is 40s. But I was determined to do better, to be better, to make the world better. And that's if I'm sitting in a funeral service. Is that if I'm at a wedding or I'm socializing with others or I'm in church, anywhere public, there's a way, there's a way to carry yourself. There's a way to speak to others. There's a way. Um, like I say, I don't know what drama is, but I know what I'm not going to tolerate. Never have, never will. Well, young ladies, this is what the queen was doing at 33 years old. The queen was running for office in her local community. The queen wasn't sitting on, on a computer cursing her own people out. Please, young ladies, get involved in your community. Continue to be positive, beautiful, and clean. So Leslie said to Gail, um, if the court dismissed it, then the media should dismiss it. And Gail, and you acting like you bitter. Are you bitter? You too old. I mean, if y'all don't want that money, please give that money to me. Because I need that money. I'm a nice person, and I know. When they say the calm before the storm. Well, I've had my storms of life, and I think it's going to be calm for the rest of it. <laughs> if it's my, uh, oh, that's my expectation. Okay. The bill, too. I've been through it all. I said, I think it was the Crips and the Bloods because, you know, the people were scared to talk over or sing over. You know, maybe their tongue would have got cut out or leg would have been broken. You know, if they would have kept going and going and going and going like we do. And then we know what we do. Then a house in Rosewood, this shit too flush. Cool, man. Got red bottoms on. Life's good. Queen Regina. Oh, I got a naked man upstairs also. I went up there. I said, Ooh, what you doing? He don't took a shower in his boxes, so he's saying I got all these kitchen tools. I should be able to come to bed early. Well, Lord, I'm gonna have to. I got to get most of my work done, but uh, is it still good to you? And can you prove it? Well, let me get my work done, sweet Jesus. Man, up that naked black stack. Admit that in the past I'd been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. Hello. May I speak to Barbara? Barbara, this is Shirley. You might not know who I am, but the reason I'm calling you is because I was going through my old man's pockets this morning, and I just happened to find your name and number. So woman to woman, I don't think it's been any more than fair than to call you and let you know where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. This is Miss Wyatt, Miss P. Well, I've been trying to reach you. I'm a nurse in Augusta, Georgia. I mean, in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, what's going on? I'm the, uh, the lady offer you two that your husband had been harassing. Okay. Have you are aware of That's that? That's between you and him. I'm not aware of what's going on on there. I do not get involved in his affairs and his YouTube thing. And I'm sorry, I don't appreciate you calling me. My job about it. Uh, but I, I do call me back. I didn't leave Yeah, but you left a husband. message on my, um, you left a message on an email for someone okay. to call me back urgent. But I didn't tell them your husband had been threatening to murder and rape me. Do you know me? No. Now, I'm calling you from woman to woman because he's been doing it from February. I'm sure I have no problem with you. I, I, got, okay. I got a problem with you not calling your sister out right here. That's what do you mean by that, though? Because I don't like the bother of people's appointment and stuff like that where you can. Uh, I haven't even made it to the house yet, and I'm already, uh, fucking yeah. love. Hit the cash, yeah. Ain't nobody got time. I got a little video! Don't try me! I got a little video! <laughs> From the Queen. Using the profile, Cameron says, That's correct, that's a fact. Did you participate, donate, comment, hold on, excuse me, channel? When that's you're a fact. Me my name. 
Well, maybe not specifically for that, but in his chat and in his lives, yes. When I'm donating, I don't know if, uh, when I'm on my phone, I don't even see the chat. I, I donated to Gravity and I donated to you. Why would you be so outraged? I mean, you, I've supported your channel at the same time, Shug, so you this listen to your chat. I'm my own woman, Shug, you can't, you don't have my eyes. I don't support doxing if I'm doxed. I don't know what your mom and dad look like, but I am not going to not donate to Gravity because you feel that, oh, he's talking about this subject, so nobody should donate. No, I had the money at the time and I donated. It wasn't to what he was talking about. Yes, you did, but you didn't donate to me while doxing someone. I, did, I didn't do that for him either. You, you can't did. make my I donation go to that. So, I don't want to argue over you. I, 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 I asked a question. I am a grown woman. If I say I did not donate to that, then that's it. I don't, I don't, I'm 56. I don't play games, shoes. You was doing what you was doing and I donated to you. I wasn't donated to you to talk about Kwame. I was donated to support your channel. So don't come up here because I gave you more money than I did, Gravity. Now, be truthful. Talk, be truthful with your audience as well. Talk, and if that's why you've been treating me the way you've been treating me, I'm, I'm disappointed. So don't don't tell me what I gave you money to. I gave money to Gravity and his wife. I said you did it while he was, I didn't say you did it to Doc. I did it, or you did it for Doc. I said oh. you donated money to him while he was showing pictures of my mother and father. I didn't see, I don't, I don't even know what your mother and father looked like. You donated me watch show, Queen Regina. You put the Yo, hundred dollars, I got the video, Queen Regina. I got the video. 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 No, but that's the truth. I got to say this for real though. Just because she donated money, she'll, that don't mean she donated for you. Then listen for me. I said why? That's the same. Y'all can't say that people was donating skinny in. I'm donating to channels, and if I can do that for you, while you're having a discussion about mommy, I should be able to do that while Gravity is having a discussion about you. And I didn't see any picture. It's my money. You I can donate to who I want to. It's my money. You can donate to who I want to. It's my money. You I can donate to who I want to. The truth hurts. You can't sit there and just listen to the truth and realize, damn, I'm wrong. He's right. I did do this. You're gonna keep deflecting and denying it. Listen, I don't get thought the same things y'all saying can apply to the other people that y'all criticize for donating to somebody else's show while he's doing this. It's only on you. It's only on you. Can nobody keep it on you? Can tell me what to keep it on? Can I speak without you being rude? Why don't you be a lady? Being woman. Okay, you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna do that. Okay. Look, sister, you know what you can do. And if I say I donated to a channel, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't care what the channel was playing at the time. I didn't see what he's talking about. But I'm telling him what my motives were. He can't push his motives on me. And he has started treating me differently because he has been believing. I solely paying for this. But when I donated to him, he's been going back and forth with Kwame ever since March. Somebody could have said when I donated to him that uh, I was saying, oh, I'm paying for his drone footage. I'm not doing that. And I have been on his panel a few times. I donated to Shug. Shug, in fact, he's been with Kwame. I donated to him. So he's not going to tell me how to spend my money. If I got something on my mind and I don't want to forget. I'm gonna donate. I don't care what he's talking about. I'm not into that. I'm trying to get this donation to him and his wife. And see, that's what I keep trying to tell people. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something. We don't watching. We don't be a lot of time watching at the mm -hmm. time who we donate. We could just be, and I'm telling you, because I did it. Mm -hmm. Came online and donated to somebody. That's because I did that. That don't mean I donated because he called Queen Regina or out her name mm -hmm. or something. her name. I didn't know. So now catch somebody or me coming in, please check the timeline. Send me my money back. Oh, that's right. We ain't got to keep doing this. I ain't got to be all these bitches and liars and uh, starting shit. Send me my money back. Mill ticket. Jay Hustler. Hey, damn D. Sure. Wow. Send me my money back. Oh, he, he already know he got me in a trail state when he took the motherfucking platform. He's coming up here talking about calling folks jobs and all. Don't, don't worry yeah. about me calling that state drunk white. The camel toe is uh, when you wear your clothes, uh, women wear their clothes too tight, and you can see the two lips to the side. Oh, okay. Camel toe in gray sweatpants. He can pay 100 yeah. We can get all the black women. $10, $10, hit the cash. And I ain't going to extort black women. Hit the cash. Yeah. And those type of men, hit the cash. Yeah. But if I can get 10 women? Give me $10. And I ain't gonna extort black women. These men, get the cash out. They are polluting our community for money. Get the cash out. A queen, queen. I'm advantage of a mentally, mentally ill woman. And they, all they do is project. Oh, you're taking advantage of queen, queen. I mean, my intelligence. My intelligence has been on display. I know you're right, queen. <laughs> You know, so you know, know what y'all know, Queen Regina is laughing at y'all. Yeah, y'all think ain't nobody taking advantage of Queen Regina. No, nobody. Nobody's taking advantage of Queen Regina. 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 Nobody's taking She know she didn't go all like that. Girl, shut up. Hi, can you camera up for me? Cause I need no, I'm not. It's late at night. I ain't got no clothes on. Take your big ass nose. Take that big nose and stick it up your ass. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not the big nose. 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 Girl, I got people asking me too, and I don't act like a Exactly. Exactly. And this is the lady that y'all want us to respect.
Oh, play with me. See, y'all gonna rock these men to sleep. Mm -hmm. But when I come, and you put your mouth on me, we gonna two step. Get the cash out. Get the cash out. <laughs> I am a nurse. I'm a <laughs> no, tell you about you know, shit, Don't nobody come up here with no teeth talking on me. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, we ain't got past that bad behavior shit, man. Shit, all behavior is just fucking out of control right now. So fuck it. I'm yeah, not, I'm, 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 not fucking, a, uh, I'm not the fucking behavior police, motherfuckers. Y'all don't be trying to make me the behavior police. I'm the weapon police. Yeah, no, don't be behavior police. I'm watching the show in the background. Like I'm the weapon yeah. police. I'm not the behavior police. I'm the weapon police. And all that ass slipping through our gums talking about me. I, never oh. said I, had good I am Regina. My name is Regina. My mother father named me Regina, and the meaning of Regina is queen. So I'm not just making up or putting in a name, you know, queen. It's actually the meaning um, of my name. So I'm not being facetious when I say queen Regina. I went back to school and became an RN and still work for the me. Now I had a nurse, a uh, male nurse there, you know, and I started, you know, doing it on the side. Not on the side of him because I had left him, but I didn't want his sister or anybody to know my business. So when he would bring my daughter to Maryland, I used to catch him saying he had to use the bathroom, but look at my damn closet and all the way I be if she was men. <laughs> uh, DC, I started going back to school because like I said, sister was a nurse and I was working in the home health uh, company and I had to kind of like review nurses' notes. So Medicare or Medicaid would pay. And so while I was doing that work, the nurses would write their notes in such a way, you know, they basically just write them. But there was a certain standard that Medicare required in order for the home health care business to get paid. So I would have to um, go over a nurse note and say, hey, you got to put in what medication, what location, how much medication before Medicare will pay for it. The older I get, the more I will speak because there's some young women out here today that need my voice. I, I can't do drama, I won't do drama. But there are some young women out here that want to even evolve. Now I can help you. You know, don't argue with nobody. Don't argue with nobody. It's not working. Stay focused on your journey, on your travel. Don't be distracted. And her name is Brown Skin Lady. That is her YouTube name. I have her government name. And I'm going to use it strategically. She uh, was on uh, PK's channel and she was bragging that, oh, I got my daughter into an HBCU with a scholarship. So I said, a scholarship? A black elite school? You don't have to go through interviews, essays. You look at the family. You look at it all. I said, well, what school has accepted this young lady coming from the home of Brown Skin Lady into an HBCU? I'm going to do an investigation. And I'm concerned. The hand that rocked the cradle for 18 years now is trying to wipe wash her filthy hands in order to get her photo on an elite HBCU. It's hard to black college. And the shit on black people, all night, on video, I've people for almost two years now. But these are taxpayer dollars. I've heard you, Kwame, speak about uh, that, uh, uh, Heavy uh, donation to HBCUs when President Trump was in office. No, that's our money, taxpayers' money. Right. So I just don't understand why would somebody put their kids at risk when I was smart enough to know, and I told this gang gang guy this. I said, dude, playing with women, every woman's going to do this. We watch Keep Change do it. We watch all of these people, even the men do. Kwame is number one draft pick. Da, da, da. They got to take away from you based on the things that you're saying online. When I went to those colleges, they said, Kwame, you ain't going to be able to go to those colleges because you curse. So I just don't understand it. What is so different when you did the same thing that they're doing? Mm -hmm. So now they want to frame it as you're attacking kids. But if I represent myself the wrong way as an adult, then it's going to limit me and my children because it's going to limit the money that I can make based on the way I'm representing myself. Same here with me. Um, if I uh, misrepresent myself, my bloodline is impacted. So people can miss me with the phone and selected outrage. She. Oh, yeah, when that young lady was saying that I already a woman, yes. she was saying that I shot at my children. Yes. They don't think that impacted my children and my brand? Yes. And she was happy to volunteer this hate speech. She's not a content creator. And the them and the passion she was saying of it, she volunteered to say it over and over. She mouthed down in this unexplained rage. My man is in our history books. And she wants to see her daughter on the taxpayer's dime to a HBCU. Well, I, have, I keep trying to remind uh, this little game online. When an RN and an Army veteran submit bulletproof evidence, I got your own video. I got your own video. To the board of the HBCU to view. And uh, maybe, maybe even a local newspaper if I receive any pushback regarding my concerns and my tax dollars. And I will be using her government name when I'm talking to that board of uh, uh, the HBCU board about this scholarship. Trying to secure a four year scholarship at an elite HBCU. And I hope to God it's not spelled here in Atlanta, all, all girls school. I keep saying the hand that rocked the cradle is very important. They uh, embedded some things into the children. Has the daughter hurt this woman? Now, in order to get that scholarship, again, like I said, there are essays, there are packages you put together, they look at the family. Brown skin ladies play, uh, is presenting her family as a Huxtable. I ain't never heard of Claire Huxtable. Behave this way, not home. Wait a minute, she represents herself as a Huxtable. Uh, Huxtable. This classy, middle class family, I'm stature and stylist. Now, um, now you're going to play Huxtable. And if you do that, and not just a TV mom, most hard-working moms are not behaving. This is extreme behavior. Hard-working blue-collar women, middle-class women, white-collar women are not behaving like brown skin ladies. There's some type of initiation um, of this online game, but I'm going to test to see if she's willing to sacrifice this scholarship. It's her choice because they needed women to speak out against JJ. These women that has been pushing this, calling and reviews, reviewing reviews, and oh, he's doing this and he's doing it's not your business. But it is my business as a taxpayer to get involved with scholarship and ladies. You're looking for a free handout. you got to be queen of the, uh, the prop, and you are not that. Everybody, man. Welcome to hell. Uh, right now, 
like y'all gonna financially um, I'm not able because I am still waiting for um, a disability decision for the VA and that's been going on a year and you know I thought they would have made the determination by now so really you know I need help I ain't gonna tell no lie I'm gonna ask you to bring me one of the food bags that you put together so I can only speak for me um, I can look like a million dollars but I'm struggling so, like I said I'm learning to talk about PTSD I'm also learning to say when I need help and it's only a temporary setback because of COVID, you know, and the VA is all back up in their um, disability claims. That's true. And I need one of them full bags. I'm going to that guard and I say, bow down to the queen. <laughs> bow down and stay down. You ain't never got up. I knew it was fucked up when I saw the word queen. I knew it was fucked up when I saw the word queen. <laughs> I'm going to get me what you vote me for victory. I don't even have friends. <laughs> There's something awfully spooky going on around here. Yo, definitely sub up to uh, Leticia Third Eye POV. Facts. Make sure y'all sub up.